Patients and advocates gathered today to watch closed door hearings at the Ronald Reagan Federal Building to share their stories and their frustration of living with Lyme. I started having back in my late 20s. I started having knee pain in 2000, right around 2003, 2004. And then 2005 started having neurological pain. Stephen Thomas is one of them, a school teacher from Arlington, Virginia. After years of suffering and after several misdiagnoses, he was finally diagnosed with Lyme disease just last year. And symptoms just got worse. This is a pick line that Today goes he continues rounds of repeated IV antibiotics, and it's medicine he's paying for on his own because current guidelines don't call for such long term treatment, and most insurance plans don't cover it. Your dreams of, you know, being a good dad and being a good husband kind of go downhill when you're constantly in pain. It changes your mood and, and uh, the ability of what you can and cannot do. Experts meeting today are reviewing the current blueprint established by the Infectious Disease Society of America and hearing from doctors on the front lines in treating this often.